But what about of the all, Democratic but Party? But what about all those other people that are saying, well, what about the other issues that are going on? It's not like just what? a targeting. You know, I mean, as far as uh, what's going on legal, there's a lot of legal complications with it uh, that that people are saying. Yeah, but it's, you know, at this point in, in time is. I mean, what's that all what, about? What I'm saying is, it's being clouded because it's right before election time. Let uh, me give let me give so you an example. So it's being timed. Is you, you, all I ask the people is, um, uh, look at the way they portray Mauricio. Look at the camera, they zoom in on him, so close to him. And that's a strategy used by media and propaganda, where even they can even see your pores. They see you walking, don't zoom. you know, you go. getting down from a, from a black sedan and, you know, with, with dark shades on. Oh, he's a gangster. You know, one Republican told me, Joe, he said, he hired an attorney. He hired Tony Canales. He has to be guilty. He has something to hide. Come on, man, that is ridiculous. He said, oh, he didn't, he, he didn't respond to, uh, to, he didn't put out a press release like the AG did. You know, that's ridiculous. He said, he must have, he has so much money. He has, he has millions in the bank. He must have, did you see that he looked kind of chubby, one of them told me? And uh, he looks like one of the guys from The Sopranos. He must have connections to, to do the Latin American underworld, to the cartel. That's ridiculous. Well, uh, Those so are not facts. Are Those are say? assertions are without they, proof. Well, what I'm saying, saying the target that is more than just him. Or, I mean, what, what I'm exactly, asking is, exactly. Are, are it, you it, saying it, they're stereotyping It's a him. terrible, dirty media campaign. It, it's not legal anymore. The main arrow being shot at him is not a legal arrow. It's a media arrow by the AG painting a dirty... This is what happens in Corpus Christi. The Attorney General and, uh, meets with Jim Kalin, he's, you know, the guy that opened the door for him. He brings a press release, structured, the, the accusations... How, how and do we certain, know this, Omero? Uh, they give how it to is it the, verifiable? They send me the same release. They give it to the Color Times, and they give it to the rest of the media. The Color Times without critically analyzing the assertions made, very serious allegations, prints that release as it is. Now, that violates journalism ethics. That's a one-sided perspective of an issue. If you're a trained journalist, your job is to search for the truth. There's two sides to every story. The other side was suppressed. That Accusing somebody by press release strategy, is, and let me tell you why. I met with some of the strategists and uh, some of the people involved within the Republican Party. They told me, look, they're trying to make him a target, but really a target of expediency. Those were the words. In other words, and what is that we're mean? trying to get at the uh, people that, that got contributions from Mauricio Salas because the elections are wrong. Abel Herrero, state representative. Uh, State Representative Juan Garcia also gets some money, and and so on and but so forth. But many Democrats receive money from him. What is that proof? Well, guilty by association. Their tactics. They're trying to create an enemy, a villain, you know, which is an oppressive party, the Democratic but, Party. But by the same then you have turn around who gave to the Republican Party, and, and well, look at, it's you know, it's the media spin. Then they they got their vindicators. Who is going after this corruption? It's the AG. And who opened the door for the AG in this area? Jim Kalin. Sure, he's an elderly man. Sure, he's in the twilight of his life. But you know what? Sheriff Jim Kalin wants to go out with a bang. And he's overly targeting this guy where he's not only hitting Mauricio anymore. He's hitting a whole big target where it affects the community. It affects our role models. It affects any successful Hispanic that gets up and looks a little bit, le gustan las tortillas and all that. I'm in you trouble. know, he's going to say, well, he looks like one of the guys from The Sopranos. Well, I got a law degree. <laughs> take it easy. Take it easy. But, but anyway, well, the Godfather said, you know, a hundred, uh, you know, a lawyer's worth a hundred guys with guns. But that, that's another stereotype. One more point. That's a bad stereotype. You know, think about the vindicators. You know, if he's the villain, who are the heroes? The heroes is, well, Jim Kalin. Maybe we might have a statue there in Molina that Jim Kalin with buckskins and a, a rifle and a, a little slogan. The guy that brought down uh, uh, 
Mauricio Salas or whatever, you know. Um, I'm, I, and I'm not joking. You know, it, this is the media spin. These are experts coming in and manipulating the, the vindicators. Who signed, just look carefully, who signed the order, which judge, to raid the offices of Mauricio Salas? Was it a Democrat? We only have one Republican judge. And I think he was pressured into it. I think it was a structured thing. Um, then we go to Carlos Valdez. Now you have your latest rumor flying out there. Everybody's saying, I met with some Hispanics from San Antonio. I met with other people from Houston that are involved within the Republican Party. And they told me, we hear that Valdez might be offered a position somewhere in the government. What, uh, I don't know what positions are there. U.S. attorney, uh, it might not be true. And as you said, but what these I'm are saying just is, rumors There's are rumors, are un rumors, you know, but, but this sure is, they that, have a history uh -huh. of uh, if there's some type of compensation. But then again, you know, if, you, if, if, you, if you're the DA and you sit there, you have a responsibility to your community. If, uh, if you have to step on your community to acquire an appointment, that's evil, man. That's wicked. That's, that's a, a very, that's you know, a very heavy being, thing being, to say. Being Omeda. divided How do within. We know that? You, you know, we just talked about it, and I'm not trying to, you know, confront you on that, but what I'm saying, you talked about verification, journalism. That's a rumor that you put exactly. out there on it's, TV, and this is going to be loaded up on YouTube. It's going to be all over South Texas, you know. I mean, so I want to underline that this is just... Politica and, and well, it's and it's it's politica, it's rumors, it's editorials. But I think at some point, there are certain suspicions that we need to look at, and I'm going to look at that uh, systematically. I'm not when when I print that final, put that final thing on print, it's going to be um, um, the bare facts. The meat, you know, but Carlos Valdez needs to uh, respond to that, I feel. I feel that uh, if the rumors are flying like that and the suspicion is so great, remember, here you have, quite as Jim Kalin and the AG fire away so ferociously at, at a target like Mauricio Salas that has never run for office. One of them is when you have such liberal uh, uh, proclivities, it's because no one is challenging you. You know, no one, and, and that's what I'm encouraging the community out there. Do your research. There's a lot of independent newspapers. There's a lot of blogs now. There's a lot of people that are, um, uh, 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 you know, doing it by themselves. Well, yeah, you've got a me. blog. You've got el defensor.blogspot.com that you've put out. And I welcome and, everybody And you're publishing the stories from in here. And, and I admire you for that because sometimes circulation of a newspaper, and we're going to do, I hope you come back, I'm going to do a whole segment on how journalism has changed. We've got about a minute left, but if people want to participate now in your paper, they've got a way, and that's on there, eldefensor.blogspot.com, and you're going to see those credits at the at the bottom of your screen here at the end of the program and all, but eldefensor.blogspot.com, and what's the phone number to call in case people uh, we, want we to have an area code 361-387-6216. And people are welcome to challenge any little fact in the blog spot that we present. Uh, the people out right there might have more current research. Who knows? They might be. They might have certain information uh, that we're not aware of. We would like. We'll bring it up as long as we bring it into the light. That's the role of journalism. Well, I certainly hope you come back, Omero. I've enjoyed having you. And you've been listening to South Texas Crossfire. You can catch us on SouthTexasCrossfire.com. And we're also appearing now San Antonio, Laredo, here in Corpus, wow. and also on YouTube. And, uh, and I'm glad you're getting out there on the Internet and everything because alternative media has changed. And part of this segment has been on bringing somebody out who's had the courage to do that for 12 years. And uh, I hope you come back so we can hear some of your war stories. I'm looking forward to. And uh, you can also catch him at 1245 p.m. on FM 93.5. Uh, and I think you're going to be uh, per either weekly or daily. I don't know what's going on. I daily, heard you the daily other day. From uh, Monday through Friday, uh, 1245 to uh, 1 or 115. 
I get on the air, I uh, give you the latest updates, the hottest issues in town. All right. Well, we've been having uh, a great time here, and we hope you come back. Omero Villarreal from Defensor newspaper, and also you can catch him on eldefensor.blogspot.com. We are out of time, but if you have any questions, comments, you can always reach me at joe at floreslawfirm.com. That's joe at floreslawfirm.com, or call the office 361-887-8670, or visit our website, southtexascrossfire.com. From uh, on behalf of me and Mr. Reina, we gotta go. Bye bye.